Uh, we are here on the shore of Hinkley Reservoir in the town of Russian, New York at Camp Northwood where the project that you are seeing described in this is being built. I've been here since I was no years old, uh, so that's 63 years so far. And during that time, I've uh, spent most of my summers here at Camp Northwood and grew up learning the maintenance ropes of this property, which my family has owned and uh, which we've been maintaining and doing construction at, repairs at, and keeping going for that 63-year period. During the course of that time, because we are on the very southern edge of the Adirondacks, the place that I have lived at here and the surrounding area is a hotbed of the Adirondack aesthetic that was developed in the late 19th century, starting with uh, the fam famous uh, William Durant, who was the first designer of the so-called Great Camps of the Adirondacks. And the Adirondack aesthetic really worked off the elements that naturally occur here. The water that we get to look at, the uh, logs that are plentiful from the trees that grow in this very forested part of New York State, and the rock and boulders that were formed from the glaciers that came through here about 10,000 years ago. The aesthetic of the building is based on those Adirondack concepts of log, stone, and water view, and incorporating some of those old elements, but in a contemporary treatment and in a building that's built with contemporary design standards and construction standards. But we were still able to make use of the large log elements and the uh, heavy stone elements that are so fundamental to the Adirondack aesthetic and in designing the building it was done with that basic concept in mind. A more specific inspiration for this was a building that sat on this location that was built in the uh, late teens of this century. The reservoir that you're looking at, Hinkley Reservoir, was, uh, was constructed uh, in the early teens and first filled in 1915 to supply the newly rebuilt New York State Barge Canal System, now known as the Erie Canal System formerly before that time known as the Erie Canal, then not, then the Barge Canal, now the Erie Canal again. And that was the purpose of the creation of this reservoir. Shortly after the reservoir was built, people started doing some development around it, and this property was developed as the Kairahura Rod and Gun Club. A number of people, mostly from Utica, uh, wanted a place to get away to on weekends. The automobile was by then available. There were some rudimentary roads that uh, allowed this place to be accessed. In those days, Utica was probably an hour, hour and 15 minutes away, but accessible by automobile. And so on this site, 
uh, in the late teens was constructed the Kairahura Rod and Gun Club, the principal building of which was the so-called clubhouse that was at 